Hey guys, welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. This is the set that I did. And this beautiful, like, chestnut cappuccino color I made myself. I actually took this, like, nudish colored acrylic that I had and mixed my coffee pigment in it. And um, it was either the coffee pigment or the chestnut pigment. Um, either way, it came out this beautiful, beautiful color, and it's exactly the color that she wanted. She wanted a milky white and, like, chestnutty ombre. So, ow, Lily, stop. No biting. Excuse me. So I'm just putting my pre-pinched stiletto tips on the nails that needed to be repaired um, because usually she gets a overlay over her natural nails but some of them she's had damage from from moisture because you know she uh washes and does uh just uses water a lot with her hands so um from time to time we end up having to take a few of the nails all the way down um because of that moisture damage so um moving forward just shaping these tips to that stiletto sharp point that she likes she likes her sides very sharp and pointy um not so much an almond stiletto but a very pointy cat claw stiletto so once that's shaped the way i like it i will move forward and start blending the tips and going in with my no lip nails acid base primer after I've gone in with a coat of my OPI Bond Aid. So I do two coats of this, um, one coat on all 10 nails and then a, a second coat right before acrylic application. And I do wait for that to dry out a little bit before I add the Thin Clear Base. Um, you want to wait for acid base primer to dry a little bit, mostly actually before you go in with your acrylic acid list primer, you can go in while it's still damp. Um, but like I said, the acid base one, you wanna wait till it's dry. So moving forward, I'm just finishing that clear base on all 10 nails. And it's, it's not a fill-in, it's just you know filling in the back part where that thin base is missing because there's already most of it on the nail. As you can see, I do repair like the tip point of that one because it was a little too thin at the point there so I had to kind of repair that. Um, I just usually hold my brush there for a second so it can start to harden um, and then I move forward. I'm using my clean nails from eBay. They're clear even though it looks like a tinted pink. I think the container was possibly labeled wrong now this is my own milky white and all i did with this was i took my mia secret french white and i mixed it with mia secret clear so i mean it's pretty much a mia secret milky white i suppose but i mixed the two of them together to get this effect and it's actually it works really good um compared to the bright white color that you get in mia secret french white it's more of a dulled down kind of like Elmer's glue looking color not as bright as when it first comes in the jar so and I'm debating on maybe getting Glam and Glitz um, color blend milky white but I'm not sure yet um, I use a lot of Glam and Glitz colors but I also use a lot of Mia Secret products as well but I'm looking to change all together so if any of you ladies or gentlemen know of a good place to start, please let me know in the comments below. I'd just like to hear more from you guys. I don't know. Just let me know what types of videos you'd like to see. If you have any requests, if you'd like to see more glitter mixing, if you want to see some swap videos, um, if you guys are even interested in doing a glitter swap, uh, the summer's coming up, the spring is right there. Maybe we could do uh, like an Easter swap or something, who knows. Um, I'm using my number 14 100% German Kalinske brush. This is the aqua brush. Um, it's also an oval. So I'm looking forward to getting my store up and going because I'm going to have all kinds of things. I'm going to have pigment, brushes, um, the jewelry glue, um, chromes stones, uh, nail glue tips, nail tip cutters, I mean, you name it, I'll have it, um, I won't have acrylic right away, I will have pigments, 
um, but I will be working on getting all of that up and going. I'm just, if any of you have any suggestions on where would be a good place to start, um, pop them in the comments below. Okay, so I just, um, I drain a lot of my liquid out of the back of this bead because I noticed when I don't drain enough, I end up going in with multiple beads and a lot of times that sucks because you end up wiping most of it on the towel. So you want to get used to your acrylic pickup and your ratio because if you don't, you're going to be wasting way more product than necessary. And I'm guilty of that myself, so I'm still, like, getting the swing of things even almost five years later. Acrylic is one of those things that's just, I think, in my opinion, is harder to work with than gel. And that's just because, obviously, you don't get as much time to work with it before it sets. Whereas gel, you can play with it as long as you need to before you set it. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be there forever because working on clients you don't want them sitting there forever but um like i said gel you can perfect it 100 percent before you put it in that lamp so it's really just practicing um acrylic with your brush and really just practice 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 makes perfect um and even still it's gonna take time to get ultimately where you want to be you just don't overthink things. I tend to do that a lot with my acrylics. I just, I overthink the shape too much sometimes and I end up kicking myself in the ass for it later on. So just finishing up doing that free edge milky white color and then I will come back and start doing that coffee chestnut creamy color. I'll bet that cuticle. That brings the whole ombre together. I really love how this color played off of the milky white. It just came out really good. I place my bead, I wipe my brush out, and I will like dip my brush in my liquid um, periodically through um, just to get that bead moving down the nail properly. If you need to come back in with a little bit more, you know that's fine you don't want to over bulk it though just be mindful of that so now I have slowed it down so you can see exactly how I'm using that product it's just so pretty it came out really good she was really happy with how it turned out so I'm using my cuticle bead now and drying the liquid out of the back of that and pushing that in and around the cuticle, making sure it's perfect before I start blending it downward. I will be capping these as well, and I believe I left all of that in as well as filing and top coating. So I hope that. All you ladies and gentlemen enjoy this video. I really appreciate everyone subscribing and um, supporting my channel and watching my videos. So any suggestions, any at all, leave them in the comments below. Um, any recommendations as well, i glad we'd be open to hearing. So I'm just going to leave you guys to watch now. It's, like I said, it's just putting the other color on blending that and then capping, filing, and top coating. So I hope you guys enjoy everything I left in the video. And I will see you in my next one, guys. Bye, dolls.